Come on, baby. Let's finish your segment. You have only one more question to go. Okay. Who do you want to be when you grow up? Your mother or father? Well, that's easy. You probably want to grow up to be just like mommy, right? Mommy? Actually, no. I want to be like daddy. You don't want to be like me? No, because your work is not hard at all. And daddy's work is more important. Okay, all done. Now I can go play. It's not that hard. Okay. Mommy, I made a mess. Can you help me clean it up? Oh, I am sorry, baby. I am just not in the mood to clean right now. But it's not that hard. Honey, I just don't feel like watching anything tonight. But it's not that hard. Okay. You don't want to be like me? No, because your work is not hard at all. I want to be like my mommy because her work is super important. <laughs> I'm sorry, oh. mommy. go 19 stay strong one more and 20 yeah great work son thanks dad no problem winning again this year all right next up let's go for Gordon mr. Daniels is it okay if I can skip coach? I don't know if I can do any. Doesn't look like you skip lunch, so I'm not gonna let you skip push-ups. <laughs> Besides, the fitness competition is next month. It's your last chance to prepare for it. I'm not sure I want to enter. It's not optional. Everyone in school has to do it. Now come on, push-ups. Start when you're ready. Seriously? Can't even do one? I tried to tell you. <laughs> I thought you were exaggerating, but it makes sense. It's a lot of weight to push up. <laughs> Congrats. You're the only one who got a zero. 
<laughs> Even the girls have more than you. All right, everyone, let's go to the pull-up bar. That's one. I can't. No, it's okay. At least you did one. Thanks, coach. No problem. All right. Gordon, let's see what you got. I know I can't do any. Okay, well, you gotta try anyway. <laughs> Trying, I can't pull myself up. You're joking. You can't even pull up an inch. <laughs> Come on, man, get it everything you got. Hopefully the bar doesn't break. <laughs> <laughs> he was pulling so hard, I thought his eyes gonna pop out of socket. <laughs> Troy, <laughs> show everyone how it's done, man. Let it go, Troy. <sighs> All right, so for this last one, you guys are gonna run to each cone and back as fast as you can, okay? Got it. All right, you guys ready? Set. All right, let's go, let's go. Keep running, hustle, hustle, hustle. I'm a foot. Let's go, let's work. Run harder than that. Let's go, Troy, let's go, Troy. Yes. Good work, son. Thanks. Yeah. Come on, finish strong. Run faster than that. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Finish strong, finish strong, finish strong. Good job, good job, good finish, good finish, good finish. Last place again. I ran as fast as I could. Boy, if it was a fire happening, you better pray <laughs> because running wouldn't get you that far. Hey, Dad. What's up? You know how the winner of the competition always goes up in the school newspaper? Yeah. Maybe we should put the biggest loser there, too. <laughs> A little picture of Gordon. Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> All right. So today was just for practice. Next month is the real deal. So keep working hard, OK? All right. Get out of here. You guys earned it. What's up, Gordo? <laughs> hey, I was just talking to Javier, and I found out Gordo means fat in Spanish. So that's your new nickname, Mike? Gordo. Gordo. Leave me alone. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on, look, look. Let me just give you some advice, though, man. You should probably just call in sick on the day of the competition. And that way you don't end up embarrassing yourself again. <laughs> hey, son. How was school today? I don't want to talk about it. Let's just go. Wait, what? What happened? Today was practice for the physical fitness competition next month. Everyone was laughing at me. I came last in everything. I'm sorry to hear that, but that doesn't mean you can't get better. You're right. Look at me. Guys my size don't do push-ups and pull-ups. I won the fitness competition when I was in school. I didn't let my weight stop me. What are you talking about? You were never overweight. You, you think I was always like this? Not even close, man. You see, when I was younger, I was always, let's just say, bigger than everyone else. Every time I showed up to PE, all the other kids would laugh at me. I remember the first time my teacher asked us to do push-ups. I was the only kid who couldn't do a single one. It was so humiliating. But the important part is, I used that as motivation to work harder. I was determined to not let my weight stop me from being the best athlete I could be. And guess what? Over time, I could do more push-ups than anyone else in school. No one, not even my teachers, could believe it. So you see, I used to be heavier too, but I never let my weight hold me back. Because you can do anything in life you want to do as long as you work hard and believe in yourself. Wow, I can't believe you used to be just like me. Yeah, so if I can do it, you can too. You said you have one more month left before your fitness competition, right? Yeah. All right. How about I train you for it? Huh? Sounds good to me. Feeling more inspired than ever, Gordon commits to working hard and believing in himself. 
The next day, Gordon goes out with his dad to start training. It doesn't take long for him to feel discouraged. But this time, whenever he falls and feels like giving up, he has his dad to encourage him to keep working hard and believing in himself. Over time, Gordon starts to get better and better. He keeps training day after day and eventually he ends up becoming really strong. And then came the day of the fitness competition. 20, come on. Let's get it one more, one more. 21, <laughs> yes. Great work, son. Thanks, Dad. Mm -hmm. You're next. Let's try to get at least one this time. Gordo. All right, Gordon, you're up next. Let's go. And go. One, wow. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gordon continues to do push ups and amazes everyone. When he gets to 20, everyone thinks that he's done. But he pushes himself to do one more and gets to 21. Just as he's about to give up, he tries harder than he's ever tried before and gets in one more push-up to win the competition. No one can believe it. When it comes time for pull-ups, Gordon tries his best to pull himself up one more time, but he can't. He ends up losing this challenge to Troy by one. Troy and Gordon are now tied for first. And then for the final challenge, Troy has a nice lead over Gordon. Just when Gordon starts to give up, he catches a second wind and pushes himself to his limit. But still, he's not able to catch Troy and Troy finishes in first place. Although Gordon lost the competition, what he did win was the respect of everyone who saw how hard he worked, including Troy and the coach. Hey everybody. I am proud to announce the winner of the physical fitness competition, Troy. Thank you. But honestly, I was most impressed with Gordon. You put up quite a fight, and you almost beat me. So today, let's all give it up for Gordon. Thank you, I didn't know second place makes the paper. They don't. It was all his idea. I wanted to say how proud I am of you. You really gave it everything you had. That means a lot, thank you coach. But I still don't understand. How did you go from not being able to do a single push-up to 22? Well, a wise man once told me, you can do anything you want as long as you work hard and believe in yourself. Grenade, grenade. Eric, it's time to go, son. Eric. One sec, bro. What? You should have been dressed by now. It's Memorial Day. Eric, you know how special today is. The only reason it's special is because I get to skip school and play video games all day. If you don't mind. <sighs> Eric! <sighs> this is ridiculous. Hey, why would you do that? I was in the middle of a game. You know your dad fought in the war. How could you be so insensitive? Come on, son. Now you can at least give two hours of your time to honor those who lost their lives trying to help protect you. <laughs> None of those people have done anything to help me. Fine, I'll go get changed. Well, we're here. You gonna be okay? I'll be fine. All right. 
Where is Eric? Put the game down and let's go. Hold on, I'm finally the imposter. I'm alone. Give me that. What's your problem? I was about to kill someone. You can play the game later. Eric, we have to go now. Here, take a few of these. They're red poppies to honor the- No, I'm not holding any dumb flowers. I didn't even want to be here in the first place. Eric, do you realize how much these men have sacrificed so you Stop could- Stop saying that, okay? No one has ever sacrificed anything for me. Eric! Where are you going? That boy. Honey. I think it's time that you finally told him the truth. Maybe you're right. So which one was he again? We fought in the second battalion together. Who had breakfast just hours before you passed? I am so sorry, honey. You know, I think you're right. I think it's finally time to tell Eric. Do you mind going and bring him over here for me, babe, please? Sure. Eric? Come over here, your dad needs to talk to you. No, I'm fine, I'm fine where I'm at. Your dad has something important to tell you. Look, I don't care, okay? Cemeteries creep me out. Just go home. I tell you what, if you just spend a few minutes with your dad, I'll let you go to the car and I'll give you your iPad back. Fine. It's not a day goes by that I don't miss you, buddy. All right, what's up? What's up? Mom said you wanted to talk to me or something? Yeah, but first here, take one of these poppies and put them on this tombstone. What? So. No, no, okay, I don't want to. All right, you just tell me whatever it is you want to tell me so that I can go back to playing my game. Eric, do you realize just how much these men have done for us? It's a lot more important than a game. Oh, not this speech again. Take a look at this. This is Jacob Matthew. We were in training together before we were deployed. Okay, and big deals. Uh, what does any of this have to do with me? Let me see if this means anything to you. Take a look at this. Now this is Wait, you. what? Why did you see if the same name as me? <laughs> because uh, he was my brother and your uncle. You had a brother? Yeah. And it's because of him why we're here today. You see, a long time ago, your mom and I had just started dating. It was such an exciting time for us. That is, till I got a phone call that would change our lives forever. I picked up the phone and found out I was getting deployed. A few weeks later, it was time for me to leave. But before I walked out the door, I turned to your mom, got down on one knee, and promised her that when I returned, I would marry her. I was one of the first armed forces to arrive. I still remember having breakfast with my brother and fellow Marines moments before being sent into combat. It was the last meal I would ever eat with some of them. 
when we got into battle, things weren't looking good. We were heavily outnumbered and already lost a few good men. And that's when it happened. An enemy threw a grenade and landed a few feet next to us. It was too late for us to run. We thought we'd never see our loved ones again. But then, my brother jumped on through the grenade. He sacrificed his own life so that we could live instead. It was because of him that I was able to go back home and see your mom again. I held her and cried harder than I had ever cried before. So you see, if it had not been for my brother, I never would have survived. I keep this with me every day as a reminder of his sacrifice. I had no idea. But wait, did, did you and Mom have me before or after he died? Wow. So without him, I would have never existed? which is why we named you after him in his memory. Why didn't you tell me? I just didn't know when the right time was. As you can see, this is not easy for me to talk about. It sounds like he was a great guy. And I can't believe all he did for us. Now you know why this day is so important. Look, you were right. Okay, I, I should have never said that Memorial Day was just a day to skip school and, and play video games all day. I now know that it's a day to honor those who sacrificed for us, like Uncle Eric. It makes me happy to hear you say that, son. I am so proud of you. Now, as promised, here's your iPad back. You can go to the car and play. Really? Um, actually, Mom, I'd rather stay here. Well, I'm shocked. Oh, and Dad, do you think I could still get one of those poppy flowers? Sure. Thanks. Thank you, Uncle Eric, and all the other troops out there for your sacrifice. Strike two! It's okay, Steven, you got this. Come on, let's get ahead, get Jesse home and win this game. Come on, Steven! Come on, Steven! Steven! Great job, loser. How'd you even make this team? Seriously. You know, maybe you should go play T-ball with the five-year-olds. <laughs> Learn how to hit first. You probably still suck and strike out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all right. We'll just get him next time. It's not all right. We lost the game because of me. I suck at baseball. I'm never going pro. Hey, you do not suck at baseball, okay? You just need to keep practicing and you'll get better. Never forget, every pro was once just a beginner who never stopped swinging. <laughs> Whatever. This is so dumb. I should just give up. All right, everybody, remember, we win tomorrow's game, we win the championship. 
Oh, great. A strikeout, Steven. Man, we're never gonna win with this guy on our team. Steven, why are you late? I just came here to tell everyone that I quit. So, you don't have to worry about me making us lose anymore. I thought you loved baseball. I thought you wanted to go pro one day. I do. But let's face it, I can't even hit the ball. So I could never go pro. Okay, you wanna quit? Fine, get out of here. But on one condition. Uh, what's that? First, you have to take 100 swings. Then you're free to go. What? 100 swings? No way! That's gonna take me all day. Yeah, I guess you better get started then. Let's go. <sighs> Great, another strike. How much longer do I have to do this for? What number are you on? Uh, 49. Okay, here comes 50. <sighs> You're halfway done. This is so lame. I'm never gonna hit the ball. Wow, Steven, you suck. You couldn't hit a ball to save your life. Hey, hey that's enough. Ninety-seven. Three more to go. Fine. I just want to get this over with. This is so stupid. I said I didn't want to play anymore. It's the last one. After this, you never have to swing another bat in your life. Strikeout, Steven! Strikeout, Steven! Congratulations. You're off the team. Hi guys, let's bring it in. Come on, all up. Better up! Two strikes! Strike three, out! It's okay. All right, bring it in. Come here, guys, settle up. All right, it's the bottom of the ninth. We're down three to two, one out to go. It's our last chance to beat the Sharks. Mikey, can I count on you to go out there and get a run? Uh, I don't know, coach. I'm not sure. Okay. So who can go out there, hit a home run, and win this game for us? I'll do it. Steven, what are you doing here? I thought you quit. Well, let's just say I changed my mind. So, can I bat? Uh, Let him bat. Yeah. Okay, I'm in. Let's do it. Why did you come back? I thought you said you could never go pro. Yeah, well, that was until I realized that 
every pro was once just a beginner who never stopped swinging. All, all we need is a three-point. We make this shot, we're going to Game 7 in the championship. Yes! On my team, Gay cannot play. I really thought you'd go to college. Do you think you'll get a scholarship? Once people find out about you, that would be my dream. No one's going to want you, man.